hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core how to create a CRUD operation with Razor pages using Entity Framework and here we got the final output of the project right now we are in the index view page notice the table contains zero rows and the column names are EMP name email and salary the reason in the table we don't have any rows let's execute the table so let's add a new row into this table create new see it's redirect to the create razor page the employee name I'm adding charan charan at gmail.com and the salary is 15,000 create see here the new record charan has been added successfully let's check in the database I'm executing the table so here we got the Charan details are added let's check the details and it redirects to the details razor page here we got the Charan details back to list let's edit the Charan details the Charan the email I want to change at yahoo.com the email I have changed and the salary also instead of 15,000 15, I'm adding 15,500 save see here the record has been updated successfully let's check in the database uh, right now the salary is 15,000 and the email is charan at gmail.com let's execute so here we got the new update record the email has been changed and also salary if you notice the 15,500 let's delete this charan delete and it's redirect to the delete razor page let's delete the charan record delete see the charan record has been deleted successfully from the table if you check in the database table also it's empty right now let's create the new one create new the employee name is ben ben at gmail.com and salary is 1234 create see here we got the ben details let's check in the database table I'm executing the table execute so here we got the ben details are added if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in .NET Core, first we will create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. I am expanding the root folder as well as the databases and notice the CM folder which is my user database. I want to create a new table in this database CM. I click the same database a new query so let's create a table create table EMP registration is a table name let's add the columns EMP ID integer type not now I'm adding primary key for this column and this is the identity one comma one comma the second column name is EMP name and var cap 150 email and var cap 150 and the last one I'm adding salary okay, which is an integer type let's execute the statement to create a table execute and here we got a message command completed successfully which means the EMP registration table is created successfully in this same database. Let's expand the folder as well as the tables folder. Let's refresh the tables. See here we got dbo.emp registration. Let's browse the table, select the EMP registration table, right click the mouse, select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this newly created table which contains four columns. Uh, right now this table contains zero rows. 
let's create a crude operation in this table with dotnet core using entity framework with razor pages let's open visual studio 2019 for this video tutorial i'm creating a new dotnet core application go to file new project and from the project I'm selecting ASP.NET Core Web Application and the uh, language I'm using C Sharp language. I'm selecting ASP.NET Core, click next. Let's give the project name Crude uh, Laser Pages Entity Framework. This is my project name. And I want to save the project in the D location in the project folder. Click create. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. First in this project I am adding models folder. Right click the project name. Add new folder let's give the folder name models now in this models folder i am adding a class i click the models folder add class now here the class name is very important the class name i am adding my table name which is my emp registration the table name we have to add copy that one and paste here let's delete the class add and here we got our EMP registration class now in this EMP registration class I'm just defining the public properties which are the column names of the table so add PROP which will create the property integer type the first one is a EMP ID the column name we have to add exactly same in the table what we have so let's put this one and the second condition is this EMP ID column must be primary key this is capital K and this method is belongs to the namespace using system dot component model dot data inertions after that let's add the rest of the properties prop double tab string emp name prop string email and the last one integer type salary so email and salary so after adding the properties next step open solution explorer now select the pages folder right click the mouse add select the razor page option now here you can see the three options we got razor page razor page using entity framework and the last one is a razor pages using entity framework which contains create read update and delete click add and now here the model class our model class name is emp registration let's select that one from this drop down list and the data context class if I drop down this one it will be empty so click the plus the new data context tab let's add the name EMP context you can notice here the project name dot models dot EMP context our data context type is click add add the index dot CSSTML file is already exist do you want to replace them as yes. because when the project is created we have chosen the web application so the index.cshtml is a default page and scaffolding is added installing nugget packages this may take a few moments just wait until it will create the create update delete and list details 
Razor pages into a project. And here we got all the index, delete, details, edit, and create pages are added automatically. And after that, open Solution Explorer and notice the app settings are JSON file. Here the database connection string data source is added automatically. Let's open that one. See, here we got the connection strings is added. But if you notice the data source, my SQL server name is user PC SQL Express. So let's add that one, delete this one. This is a default one. User PC double slash after that, I'm adding SQL Express. Make sure you double backward slashes and the database name which is a wrong one because it's a default data source our database name is a cm let's copy this one and paste here that's it we have set our connection string in the app settings.json file and also one more file we have to check open that one solution explorer in the startup.cs file open that one And notice in the configure service that services add db context is added automatically. We are getting the connection string and the db context also. That's it. Now let's check the results on the browser. Open index.cshtml. Browse with. I'm selecting the browser default one Google Chrome set as default browse and here we got the final output of the project right now we are in the index view page notice the table contains zero rows and the column names are emp name email and salary the reason in the table we don't have any rows let's execute the table so let's add a new row into this table create new See it's redirect to the create razor page. The employee name I'm adding charan charan at gmail.com and the salary is 15,000. Create. See here the new record charan has been added successfully. Let's check in the database. I'm executing the table. See here we got the charan details are added. Let's check the details and it redirects to the details razor page. Here we got the churn details. Back to list. Let's edit the churn details. The churn, the email I want to change churn at yahoo.com. The email I have changed and the salary also instead of 1500. 15,000 I'm adding 15,500 save see here the record has been updated successfully let's check in the database uh, right now the salary is 15,000 and the email is charan at gmail.com let's execute see here we got the new update record the email has been changed and also salary if you notice the 15,500 let's delete this charan delete and it's redirect to the delete razor page let's delete the charan record delete see the charan record has been deleted successfully from the table if you check in the database table also it's empty right now let's create the new one create new the employee name is Ben, ben at gmail.com and salary is one two three four create see here we got the band details let's check in the database table I'm executing the table execute see here we got the band details are added that's it we have implemented the entity framework crude operation create read update and delete using entity framework with razor pages